coming to the stage is a guy HBO called one of the most important and influential comedians of our time, Mr. T.K. Kirkman, better known as T to the K to the Mo Yo, Kirkland. I'm so impressed with this man's intel. <laughs> he went to the HBO special. That's Mo right. Funny. A lot of people don't know how to do their intel. Yeah. What you just did, I'm truly impressed. Well, thank you, bro. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm truly impressed with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you call intel. <laughs> Real talk. Oh, yeah. man, I like that. Yeah, I like I, that. it's great to meet you, man. Yeah, same here, young man. Yeah. Same here, same here. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what you been up to, man? What's, uh, what's crack a lacking? Well, you know, life has been beautiful. It's been a great year. My um, The Who Raised You comedy album went number 10 on Billboard. Yeah. Um, it was on Billboard for a month and, uh, and then top 10. And that was a truly impressive thing. Yeah, I got my own comedy label now called Pass the Mic. And I wanted to give other comics um, an opportunity to get them to have a catalog. But if you're into music, like I'm into music, mo mostly all the superstars got 9, 10, 13 albums. Right, right. The comedians only have one, maybe two. But when I approach certain comedians, they don't get it. They don't understand what a catalog is. The goal to being a stand-up comedian, what I want to show going into my fifth, sixth album, is how every year I drop different material on the album. So my goal is to drop an album every year until I die. Great, man. Yeah, so that's yeah. what I want to do. You know, yeah. so the next album is going to be phenomenal. This one was called Who Raised You? Uh -huh. The next album I drop October 25th is called Gangsta Conversation. Yeah. So it drops, and then I got a book dropping the same time at the same called Gangsta Conversation. Yeah. And it's going to be a book, it's going to be about a journey, about coming up when um, all the trials and tribulations that I had, like when I had, I had issues with puffy cones when I was young, um, things I learned from Vin Diesel, the actor, things like when I was in a confrontation with Rob Suge Knight, how that turned to be a... Wait, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, true you, story. You, you, you Rob Suge Knight? Yeah, I Rob Suge Knight back in the 90s. And live to tell about it. Oh no, I'm, I'm really the dude that people got worried about. Yeah. You know, and it's not and it's not to brag. It's yeah, to yeah. say how this journey went to a positive journey. You know, yeah. so we, we, we're talking about all of that about me being a, um, influential into the, in the streets of America. How I have a program in Columbus, Ohio, to get um, Afro American men and people just to know their numbers and health. It's a health walk. Yeah, yeah. I, did, I do with people with there and. Just, you know, from education to my podcast, the TK Kirkwood Show, executive producer Charlemagne the God from The Breakfast Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I give people jobs and give people money and just change people's lives all around the world.